with this job, you'll be teaching economics in the Institute of Management. Laboni Jana has a first-class degree in economics. She's 26 years old and lives in Calcutta. Today, she's lucky. She's got a seat on her two-hour journey to work. So you really just don't have the first idea when the bus is going to come? Yeah, no idea. And how long can the gap be? An hour or...? As long as, yeah. Really? Wow. It's a miracle that anyone gets anywhere in chaotic Calcutta. Laboni works for an NGO, a non-government organization, on the outskirts of the city. The Child in Need Institute, Sini, is primarily concerned with health care for mothers and babies. Laboni went to university in Delhi, but chose to return to Calcutta to live with her parents. Most of her contemporaries are working in banks and multinationals. You don't think of coming to live down in this area? <laughs> no. <laughs> Infant mortality in India has gone down since independence, but it's still far too high. 7% of Indian babies die from inadequate health care. Sini is one of many charitable organizations supplementing state health services. Mothers from the surrounding villages come here because they find the doctors and other staff are more dedicated than many of those employed in government health centers. The service is more personal, more intimate, and there are no bureaucratic hassles. Antenatal card. I see. Mother, she's pregnant. She's yes. come and this is antenatal card and She's talking about the various checkups she has to do. Oh, I see. Yes. For yes. the birth of a healthy baby. Yes. This is a TB card. Someone with a TB. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. I see, yes. Is there a lot of TB around here? Yeah, right. Yes. One of the reasons that poor people still have large families is that they can't be confident their children will survive. Or if they do, that they'll grow up strong and healthy. So this is the emergency ward. Right, this is the emergency ward. And we've got 12 beds here. Yes. And uh, when the doctors see the case is very acute from that from the clinic. clinic there, they yeah, they refer here. the babies to here. I and see. here they stay for two, three days. Yes. And after the baby improved a lot bit, then generally we send them back to the hospital or in case of malnutrition as with this baby, she was suffering from malnutrition, then we so send the, so both the, the mother and the baby to the in, yeah, right. Of your end. Yeah, and in winter, we, most of the cases are basically bronchial and you know respiratory problems of the babies. But we cannot afford to keep them for long. Just two, three days, and after the improvement, we. So you're probably, you're not a hospital organisation. No, basically. no. The baby like that will he or she get better? Do you think? Yeah, gets better. She yeah. will get better. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, that's nice. Isn't it? Acute malnutrition is marasmus. Mm. Yeah. Melasma. Yeah. Which means acute malnutrition. Yeah. It's a form of acute malnutrition. Yeah. Yeah. So you're becoming a doctor as well as a malnutrition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to pick up these things. Yes, well, if you're you working me. with an health based NGO. Thank you out very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. You live with your family. Do you have a brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have one, a younger sister. And is she going to do this sort of work, do you uh, think, or what? I don't know. You don't know? No. And what is your father? What does your father do? He's a geologist. He's, He's a geologist. Geological Survey of India. Was he pleased when you chose this sort of work? Not much. Initially, he wanted me to join some bank or something like that. I see. For uh, security and money. Yeah, yeah. But now he has reconciled to the whole idea and accepted the fact that his elder daughter is going... This way? To, yeah. <laughs> Poverty in countries like India isn't necessarily so much of a problem as ignorance. In this nutrition class, mothers are told how it's possible to have a healthy and balanced diet of cheap and readily available food. You find this education is very effective. Yeah, and the idea is, you know, you are demonstrating the whole thing to the mothers, yes. so that they can go back to the community mm. and explain the thing to other women in the community. Oh, so they actually give a right, explain to other women. Right. So, that so it has a knock-on effect. So right, right. And that really does work. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Laboni uses her skills as an economist to supply the statistical backup for Sini. And this is an analysis of all the main uh, diseases which yeah. you treat. Yeah. 
Mm, malaria. Malnutrition. Malnutrition. Yeah, this is right. It's important for Laboni's colleagues to know whether their work is producing results and what methods are effective. While at university, Laboni did consider working for an organization which would provide the conditions and pay that economists can expect. I always thought ki I would uh, take up teaching or maybe bank or something. The usual, what, the, what generally people think an economic student will be doing. But while I was doing my post-graduation, I had a course on Indian agriculture. And as a part of that course, we went to Rajasthan and visited one NGO. And I really, I was so impressed by the whole thing and, and you know, I, I decided that this is very interesting and I, I'd like to do something of this sort. So that was when I took the decision to come into this field and see how it is like.